Hey everybody, my name is Vivek Mano, and today I'm going to dive into a customer use case where one of our clients was able to ship features 75% faster to the mobile apps thanks to micro frontends. If you're not familiar, micro frontends is a front end development pattern where a single app can be composed of separate individual features, each feature being owned and built by separate teams. If you're familiar with microservices for the back end, micro frontends take a similar approach to solving scaling issues for front end web apps. We're going to extend the concept to the world of mobile apps so that you have an idea of how you can write a feature once and deploy it to web, iOS, and Android all at the same time. Let's dive in. Our customer is a public financial services company that has been around for a number of years. Their primary business are providing lending services, such as personal loans. The lending product has a traditional web application and an iOS and Android application. But business is growing, and there is a need to add a new service, a credit card offering. And with that, applications for the digital first users. Let's take a quick look at what their development structure initially looked like. For their traditional lending app, there were independent teams for web, iOS, and Android. The original mobile app used Kotlin and Swift for the front end and Ruby on Rails on the back end. This meant two different code bases for mobile. Maintaining two code bases meant doubling the potential bugs and a host of other issues to solve. When the decision was made to launch a new line of business with a credit card offering, the development team realized they couldn't continue with separate iOS and Android teams. Instead, they chose a cross-platform solution with Ionic Capacitor and Angular. This allowed a singular web team to develop for iOS, Android, and web, all with the same code base. Now, looking back to the lending app with traditional Kotlin and Swift, what made feature rollout so painful? Well, to begin with, there was a simple maintenance task of the two separate code bases. It was a constant struggle to keep app and feature parity between web iOS and Android, when the customer expected a similar mobile experience. And because there were one, two, three teams involved, knowledge exchange was difficult. Features typically rolled out to the web app first, and so they would get intimately involved with the requirements and specifications and understanding the user stories inside out, and as a result, they created a great customer experience. When it came time to roll the feature out to mobile, the Colin and Swift teams were playing catch-up. They'd have to relearn not only the requirements, but the flow that the web teams adopted so they could try to match it as best as possible. And to add salt to the wound, our customer was experiencing a demographic shift to a more digital and mobile-first audience. Unfortunately, features that existed on the web were taking six months or sometimes longer to make it to mobile devices. So when they made the switch to a cross-platform solution for the credit card mobile apps on iOS and Android, they resolved to solve these problems. Now, they were able to leverage a single code base for web, iOS, and Android using Ionic Capacitor. Because the features were being built once and rolled out across multiple platforms, the business expertise were added within the individual feature teams who had become experts in their domain. And best of all for all stakeholders, the mobile-first audience was receiving new features in a matter of weeks. So the new app rollout was a gigantic success. But after the credit card app rolled out, the company turned their attention to that original lending app. They wanted to change from building mobile apps using native code over to using Ionic Capacitor with Angular. But what choices do they have? How do they approach this? The original thought was to rip and replace the old application, which was written in native code. But the original app worked without a problem, and ripping out these features and code wasn't going to solve their problems. The main issue is that adding new features was difficult, and our customers stumbled upon a new solution to this problem in the fall of 2021 called Portals. Portals is our paid product, and customers can use the legacy app as it is, and utilize the newer Angular-based features in the native shell. So what this means is that their app would stay as it is, and as new Angular features would roll out, they could update them, like this payments feature. The experience is seamless for the users and developers. Users don't have to uninstall the old app and then install a new app, and developers don't have to build new features using the old tech stack. With new features being built using Angular and Anac Capacitor, the organization can reuse them across web and mobile. So a little bit about Portals itself. Portals is our paid solution that allows multiple teams to build, test, and ship in parallel. It also allows for web experiences to be embedded within native apps. These feature-focused web experiences come with the full access to a native layer and a number of first-party and community plugins for device access. And best of all, the shell application can dictate granular permissions and access so that web teams can continue to operate independently and autonomously. For our customer, though, they had their own reasons and value drivers. What decisions led them to choose portals and what were their main value drivers? 
The first reason, the main reason, was risk mitigation. By keeping the legacy app intact and testing out the new Angular web features one at a time, the mobile development team could isolate problems of concern whenever they needed to. They also reduced the risk by testing these features in isolation. They would first test out the feature in a web app and then secondly test it out with the portal interconnectivity. The second value driver was time to feature parity. In the past, the web app would get a new feature and the mobile app would have a delay of nearly six months to get the same functionality in place. Rewriting the feature for two other code bases and ensuring that the user experience was similar to the web experience took up the brunt of those sprint cycles. That's really frustrating for mobile first customers and was equally frustrating for the internal business stakeholders. By using portals, feature parity is now possible within six weeks. As they get more streamlined, the development teams believe that feature parity could happen even faster. They plan to gain 3x in productivity when they complete their migration. Furthermore, these features could eventually be reused within the organization, almost like an internal approved directory of implementations. Okay, we've talked quite a bit about the technical decisions, the architecture, the value drivers, but one aspect I don't want to gloss over is the team structure. To make this work, the development team knew that they had to move away from siloed application teams and over to vertical feature teams. This configuration also ensured that the backend and frontend engineers were working toward the same goal. For the backend teams, they've adopted this mindset through the uses of microservices already. Frontend teams are slowly considering this idea, and it's what we call micro frontends, where frontend teams are dedicated to individual features across multiple platforms. The best part of this is that as more features need to be created and added to the application, our client can hire additional web developers to build out new teams. And web developers have a 10 times greater talent pool as compared to native mobile developers. So by using micro frontends, our customer was able to align their tech stacks and teams and are on their way to delivering an improved customer experience across their web and mobile apps. With Ionic portals, they were able to use a managed micro frontend solution not just for web, but for mobile as well. Features that used to take six months to ship now take six weeks. If you're wondering how you can improve developer efficiency, or if you have a company-wide objective to scale agile, I want to get new features out faster in order to improve the customer experience, come talk to us about portals or visit ionic.io portals to learn more today. Thank you so much. Let me know if you have any questions.